Welcome back to Kim's Creations and part two with this heart. And this is where we left off last time, my Dutch pour heart, and now I'm going to embellish it. So I found these um, wooden heart cutouts of multiple sizes at Hobby Lobby, along with some other things. And I am going to use the same paints that I used in uh, the blowout. It would have been easier uh, in hindsight if I had coated the hearts uh, with gesso and then used paint straight from the tubes, but apparently I like to do things the hard way. So the only uh, paint that I did use uh, straight from the jar or can or tube was actually the DecoArt 24 karat gold that you can see me applying right now. And you can also probably see my little helper. Ha ha, helper. Anyway, um, Little Acorn was there to supervise uh, the painting of these hearts. And uh, she's certainly my new little love. So I'm going to just, you know, uh, ferme la bouche right now and let you guys sit back and watch as I progress here. As you can see, my little helper here has completely conked out. She's full on until all that energy is expelled and then she's just comatose. Hey, we are back and you will see that my hearts are done. I did do several coats on these and then once they were dried, I took them outside and I spray painted them. And you'll see that with um, the red hearts, I did actually add glitter to them on the last layer of red that I put on them. And the glitter I actually got off Timu. Um, lots of different packages of it, but I like this glitter because it comes in different sizes and uh, shifts in colors a little bit too. So that's that. I've mixed up about just over two ounces of resin in here. And the resin that I'm using is just the regular Let's Resin, epoxy resin. Um, that's a one-to-one -one resin. And I've got all kinds of things that I can use to embellish my piece. But the things that I'm gonna start off with are the hearts and this container of um, little envelopes, little heart envelopes. They also have hearts that are in pink and white. And then there's lips, which are super cute. And then just little blue, blue doodads. So I was thinking I was would um, put these, make a, a paste with some of the resin and put this kind of in and around the heart. Huh, I'm thinking the paste was probably not such a good idea. Well, it's kind of too late now. I am gonna cover this whole thing with um resin so maybe i should have done that first and then put these on live and learn well gotta get these out so we'll do that i'll pour the resin on because i gotta stick my hearts on anyway so we'll do that. Spread this stuff out. Move that over there. I did mix up more resin and I did sprinkle more of that um, Valentine's confetti over my piece. 
And now it's another fun part of adding those hearts onto my piece and positioning them just the way I want them. If you recall at the beginning, I was gonna use those gold um, glass beads that you see on the top left, but I decided less is more in the end. What are your thoughts? And here she is in all her finished glory. You can see that I just re-drilled those holes that I filled in put the ribbon back in, finished off the back, and you can see the back is pretty much immaculate for having taped it. All right, let's get to the good side. Are you ready? <laughs> there she is. She is super, super shiny. Um, I had to look to see where I've got her. Let me see if I can put that ribbon behind. So, yep, she turned out really well. Um, there's lots of shimmer and shine, which I hope that you're seeing on everything. It's hard for me to tell with um, the sun shining on it and looking through the lens, but I love it. I love it, love it, love it. I did have to keep coming back and checking the resin and pushing some of these little pieces back into place because they kept floating out of their designated spots, but eventually that resin uh, hardened up and everything stayed in place. So let me know what you think of this piece. Leave me a comment down below. And thank you as always for being here. If you haven't subscribed yet, please consider subscribing and hitting that notification bell. Next time I upload a video, you'll be notified. All right, thanks for being here. Bye for now.